celebrity updates for Sunday, January 11th, and this is your updates for the week. First of all, Brittany Murphy, as we know, did die on the 20th of December. She worked really hard for her money. She was actually, at her time of her death, worth $20 million. And um, obviously she'd been saving it up and stuff, and as we know, her um, husband is not um, in her will. However, because of the law, and they were married in 2007, any money she made after 2007 will go to her husband, Simon, and her wife, her, I mean her mo mother, Sharon, will be the one to get all her other money. And now they've got this odd relationship going because I guess they were good friends, um, obviously because it's his mother-in-law, and it looks like he would probably split any money he got with Sharon. So it looks like no matter what, um, they, they're they obviously sad and everything, but there is a winner in this, I mean... They are actually going to be like nicely dealing this money out. So that's what's going to happen to the $20 million that she earned in her lifetime. Well, John and Kate are no more. As we know, the couple did break up. And as of this new year, Kate Goslin is trying to show off some new things, including new hair extensions. In the meantime, John is showing off his new girlfriend, 25-year-old Morgan, who we met on a skiing trip. And in between all of this, it looks like the kids are really sad still. Obviously, they're missing the stat, staff, the people who film them, and their parents being broken up is not helping. They are freaking out. And it looks like some people are saying that the parents aren't even, John and Kate are not even paying attention to this. They're not comforting the kids or anything. So it looks like John and Kate aren't doing a good job of comforting their eight children who are very sad about their whole breakup. So hopefully they'll get the picture and start comforting their children instead of just taking care of themselves. Well, Charlie Sheen and Brooke are back together. It looks like they're still together, obviously. But it looks like they're trying to make their relationship work after Charlie Sheen did threaten Brooke on Christmas Day with a knife, which, as we know. And in the meantime, Charlie still has to appear in court on the 20th for um, whatever whatever he like had to go to jail for and everything. He can't get out of it. He can't do it by phone, even though he's trying. And currently he's on the set of Two and a Half Men filming, and his producers and everybody said he's doing fine. So hopefully they can work it out, and Charlie will finally get some help for his problems that, that he seems to have. Well, with all the wedding talk, um, another person talking about weddings is Paris Hilton. Her and Doug have been together just about a year, and she is saying that she would be, she would love and would be more than happy to get married sometime this year. So... Maybe a wedding is in Paris Hilton's future this year, so we'll see. Well, Brad Pitt and Angela Jolie did spend New York, spend New Year's in New York this um, past, like at the end of the year and beginning of this year. And basically, Angela Jolie was working on her movie Salt. They had to do some extra films, and, and Brad was taking the kids to the theater and stuff. So they got to spend New Year's in New York. So that's pretty cool since all that New Year's stuff happened. So that's really great for them. Well, do you miss Tiger Woods? In case you do, um, he is on the cover of Vanity Fair right now, shirtless. So if you're looking for Tiger Woods, there he is. But in person, he's nowhere. He's like in hiding. And some people are saying he's trying to get his act together. I mean, Elaine, his wife, she's been seen, but he has not been seen. And some are saying he's trying to get his act together. He's trying to figure things out and work things out with everything. So he is currently in hiding. And if they did get a divorce, he is valued at $300 million. So that would be a big, messy, huge divorce if they did get a divorce and how that got brought, that um, got divided up. So we'll see. Right now, Tiger is missing. Elaine is out. And that's about all we know until he emerges again. Well, we've been waiting for, we've been watching them for months. And it is quite possible that Leanne Rhymes and Eddie are going to get engaged. Now they are engaged. This isn't confirmed that they are even thinking about it, but it's quite a possibility that they are on their way to the wedding aisle. So we'll just see what happens with this couple who emerged as both cheating on their their for, their spouses and now they're trying to see each other. They're still with each other and they might get engaged. So we'll see. Well, it's been a year since the sad death of John Travolta's son, Jet, died last year in January. And the family has basically finally begun to heal. That's good news. They are they're closer than ever. They are healing from this tragedy. They are finally getting stronger from it. So that's good news that they're finally beginning to heal from the sad death of the son. Um, Casey Johnson, Harris's to the Johnson Johnson Foundation, she has died at the age of 30. 
And um, she is yet to be buried. She's going to be buried sometime this week, we think. And nobody knows why she died. She's only 30 years old. And pending a toxicology report, similar to probably Brittany Murphy's they're doing, well, maybe we'll find out soon why she died. But she did die at 30 a couple days ago. It's a real sad thing. Everybody's just really upset about this. Real sad news for the for the slub world. Well, now we got your odd news for the week. First of all, according to a new book out called Star, Warren Beatty slept with 13,000 women. That's one th that's 13,000 women. And they're saying this is fake. The book is fake. It's unauthorized. They're saying this is not true. So we don't know if it's true or not, but if it were, just imagine. Well, Michael Jackson um, himself is in the news. Basically, first of all, there was a song on the on the internet. It was called Another Day. It was done with Levi Kravitz. Um, it got leaked, and then it got pulled. It, they, it was leaked out there, and it got pulled. So if you didn't get to hear it, we don't know when we're going to get to hear it. But in the meantime, Dr. Murray is going to be charged with involuntary manslaughter for the death of Michael X last June. So he is going to be charged. So this is the news that people have been waiting for to find out what was going to happen in this case.